thank you, Christian, uh, for agreeing to speak about accounting and how it affects your life um, and what it means to you. Um, for those who are listening, I've chosen uh, Christian as, as one of our uh, people speaking about accounting in their life because Christian, as someone who's been in the community for years, uh, and also uh, has this situation of being a member, but her husband uh, is not a member, or, or they're very sympathetic to the community. Um, so Christian, over to you, just wondering how, what the rule means to you and how it affects your life. So hello, Jill, and hello, new members. Uh, lovely to be in touch again. And I picture you all this morning. So, um, I suppose the first thing to say is that um, when I joined the community, Ron Ferguson, who was the leader at the time, very, very helpfully said that the rule is not something which we, which binds us in a way you either pass or you fail. It's not like that. It's something we all aspire to. It's something that gives us guidelines for how we live. And I, I've always found that helpful. And I suppose the other things I feel about the economic discipline, um, first of all, that you can't look at it in isolation. We account to each other for um, how we spend our time and for our prayer lives and what we do in just actions for justice and peace and uh, in meeting together. So it's part of a whole. And in that same way, I think I've always found it helpful to think that we're not just accounting for the 10% which the community sets out, um, uh, but, but for how we spend our money generally. But obviously you account in particular for that 10%. And I think, you know, accounting for me, mutual accountability has always been just fundamental in the community for me. And as part of my membership, I really uh, find it immensely helpful. I've always found it quite challenging, um, but I feel there's nothing else in life in that in that way where I'm accountable to people I know and love and trust. Um, I'm actually, it's a kind of self-examine, isn't it? It's, uh, you're really looking at how, what, what you're doing and how you're spending your life and your time. Um, and uh, so, so I, I find it really important and also quite helpful. And I think the other thing about the economic discipline is it's probably the one which when you talk about the community to other people, and I think for a lot of new, new members, it's the one that people, maybe not for these people, but <laughs> I remember feeling this myself, it's the one that people slightly jump at because it's so countercultural to talk like that about our money and about how we spend it. Um, but actually, uh, in in talking to people and listening over the years and in reading with us letters and that kind of thing, it's interesting that what people in fact tend to find more challenging, I would say, is quite often the prayer discipline. So what seems like a huge hurdle in advance isn't necessarily the one that people find most challenging when they're right in the middle of it. So I suppose that's the kind of general thing about about economic accounting for me. And, um, and moving on to the specifics. Um, so I've been a member for, not quite sure, but over 35 years. And for almost 30 of those years, I've been married to Colin, who is very sympathetic to the community, very supportive, knows it well, but is not either an associate or a member. And so in a way, I always feel with economic accounting, I'm kind of accountable to, partly accountable to him, that's possibly the wrong way of putting it, but I, I need to do it in a way, I mean, I need to feel sure that he feels comfortable with what I'm doing. 
and um, uh, is okay with, with what I'm doing. I mean, I wouldn't go, for example, I wouldn't feel able to go and give details of his financial situation. He mightn't bother about, well, I think he might feel a bit uncomfortable because he wasn't doing it himself and he wasn't there. Um, and at the same time, I have to account to, you know, to members, to, to my family group and to in my with us uh, correspondence. And so I think what I'm going to say is some general things and some about how we we work out in particular in our situation. So generally what I have felt and what I think about it and how I try to behave with it is that this, it's not about, for me, um, it's not about what exactly, what proportion exactly is my income? What proportion exactly is Colin's? What have I done with this? What have I done with that? I mean, I do do that. I do talk about, you know, where my money has gone. But it's more for me uh, grappling with the issues and trying to deal with them with integrity and be honest both to myself and to the community with the community when I'm accounting. So I am. Um, so, and I've found it very helpful actually talking about these issues because I, I have found it sometimes really quite difficult. And in fact, at the moment, I'm finding it quite difficult again, quite challenging how to do it best. Um, I've actually found it very helpful sometimes talking this over, these issues over with the family group or the people I'm accounting with uh, to say, look, I'm not actually sure of the best way to do this. This is what I'm doing. Does that sound OK to you? And people have quite often made really helpful suggestions. So I think there are no hard and fast rules and you have to find a way where you feel you're being um, honest and and challenging to yourself and where you feel you're being challenged, but also heard by other people. Um, I have always found actually the economic accounting, um, it, it tends to be quite um, supportive. People, you know, having someone you can talk over these issues with, I found supportive, including uh, in the past, I, I used to belong to a family group quite some time ago, where there were two or three uh, of if not quite original members, certainly very uh, members who'd been there for a very long time, who tended to do the economic discipline in a very different way and were very clear that this was the way to do it. And they would have some real ding-dongs with each other about, I don't think you can justify that. I mean, it was, it was very confrontational quite often. And that always felt quite challenging, but was actually... Um, very helpful I think and it also on a personal level they would be very understanding you know they would they might say do you really think that's why how can you justify that but they would they would listen and hear so on our specifics what we have always done is pool our income completely and we don't actually have any separate pot that's mine and we take our household expenditure out of that and we take anything else that we need individually out of that. And that's actually, while, while that I think has a lot of advantages for us and there's obviously a lot of trust in it, it is difficult when it comes to economic discipline. When I was earning myself, um, what I did then was I calculated my proportion, my how my salary compared to Colin. So at one point, for example, it was about two thirds of his. And I um, knew what household expenditure was because it's made me always look at that and what other essentials there were. I mean, we had children quite late, so we were supporting them until relatively recently. Um, and so I would work out a two thirds proportion of that and that I considered my income and I would 
give that as my um, essential income and then look at what was extra on top of that. And that worked for a good few years. There have been other spells, partly because I had spells of uh, being, you know, largely at home, doing some work, but largely at home with children and partly because of caring responsibilities for my mother um, later on, where I was working part time and earning less. And that was a bit more complicated. I worked, you know, and we had to kind of try and work that out. What I do now is I'm still grappling with because we are suddenly neither of us is working and uh, Colin's pension is a great deal bigger than mine and we pull it all and it's lovely but I feel now it wouldn't be fair to only account for what I in particular get as pension because I benefit from all the other from from what he's bringing and although I think that's a problem in my head. I know if he were here, he would say, but it's ours, it's ours. It's not, you know, you did, we agreed you would do certain things. And I believe that in my head, there's a part of me that just can't quite feel okay about doing that. You know, a very old fashioned part, I apologize, but it's deep rooted. <laughs> um, and I, I feel slightly kind of guilty about um, saying, well, half of this is mine. Um, another factor that we have to kind of take in is that we do have some joint giving There are, you know, quite often there are, there are some subscriptions and regular giving that we, we do together from the household. Uh, and then we quite often, you know, give to emergency appeals and so on. And then there's stuff that I specifically choose to do. Now, how much of that do I do? Uh, do I account for and how much do I see? Um, well, this is actually mine. So I'm afraid I can't really give a kind of clear answer, but what I can say is that um, I think the working through of this has actually been, for me, it's always been very helpful and very, um, yeah, challenging. Um, and these are issues that actually I would like to grapple with, you know, what is our income and, and what is mine? Is there such a thing as mine? You know, um, <laughs> so no clear answers, but it's a kind of process. And I think it's, I find the community very helpful in the process. I found this account, having to account for it, very, very helpful. That's great, Christian. I think you've given us a clear feeling of the, the the workings of the, the working the way through it that it's not hard and fast and it is no. a reflection and yeah and your situation changes and you have to and have a rethink and discuss it so thank you very much for not at all pleasure <laughs>